Hey, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? I, well, since the last recording, I have slept, I have eaten, I have gotten my house sprayed for bugs, and I have showered. So, I'm a new man, boys. A new man who won't demolish my enemy by going 23-0. and 0. Um... What do I want to do, though? What a fantastic question. Play Erlong. <clears throat> I think Erlong is slept on. Like, I made a video when he first got changed um, about how good he is and how he's super OP in duel. And then you saw him in, in duel, like, I want to say for maybe damn, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I want to say you saw him for maybe a week or two after that video. And then he died down and now nobody plays him again. But I'm telling you, man, if you don't play him at all, like, as I obviously I have a border on him because I've played him quite a bit, but um I don't know, man. You're missing out. If you're not playing him, if you're not slamming a an Erlang game or seven, you're missing out because I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This guy is quite good. I max his one, by the way. Which I don't think anyone else does. I'm not sure if it's the right play. It gives you lifesteal, more damage, and damage reduction. There's no way it's the right. It's the wrong play, I mean. I'm out of mana. That was pretty quick. Oh. Well, at least we double buffed pretty quick. Did I get it in time for the... No, I didn't. Darn it. Hello, enemy man. Okay, well, that's going to be an annoying matchup for me, isn't it? The fact that he just presses two and I get sad. That's how this matchup goes. Okay. Honestly, not bad. I get it seems bad, but it's really not bad. Because we got his relic and he did not get mine. Now I'm going to back. I'm going to get my golden blade so I can actually clear. And my second relic will be a beads probably. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know. It makes the most sense to go beads here. Because if I don't go beads... What am I doing? I'm holding the fattest L. Uh, he just stuns me off cooldown all the time. I think that's exactly what happens if I don't go beads. He went over there. Oh, but then like didn't show up for a second. So I was wondering if... Oh, that still hit me. Okay. He went over there and didn't show up for a second. So I was wondering if he... Uh was going to his XP camp, but then I don't know where he went. He tanked minions a little bit. What's good? My ult didn't go off? Hmm. I'm not loving that. My guess is he probably does not give a shit that I have alt. Oh, but it does matter, though. <clears throat> I'm just going to alt. <clears throat> nice. That's actually very, very good for me. It doesn't seem like it's that good, but it is. Him missing his stun and then having to deal with the wave like that means that I get free blue buff. Because he... I, like... Obviously, I have no mana. If I don't... 
kind of abuse that fact that I can turtle form and just like kind of zoom past him. If I don't do that there, he sees that I have no mana. He sees that he has mana. He sees he has alt and I don't have alt. And he just demolishes me. Like he fights me. He, he ults me here. He pushes me out of my blue buff. All of a sudden I have to back under my Phoenix. He takes my blue buff. We have to fight at my speed buff. I probably will win that fight. So more than likely, he takes blue and then and then F's off to hit F's off to his buffs. So, you know, it, it could have been really bad. It could have been really bad if I didn't use the turtle. Good thing I'm a turtle main. Let's go. Um, where? Hello. Okay. I took a little bit of damage there, but at the end of the day, that was alt for relic, which I will accept. Um, <clears throat> I guess I do want to do a little bit of tower damage. There's not any XP map or any XP on the map, so I'm not missing out on anything doing some tower damage. Most of the time, there's like a cost to tower damage. Oh, I missed. Whatever. Most of the time, there's a cost to tower damage, but there wasn't any right there, so we're chilling. He is going to stun me. Okay, I think I'm in a good spot. I have enough mana for two different abilities still. Uh, okay, maybe I'm not in such a great spot. Hmm. He's definitely going for red, right? There's no way he picks my blue over the red. Does he? He does? Yo, that's such a bad play. That is such a bad play, man. At best, you live. And lose your blue buff. At best. Like, there's no way... <clears throat> There's no way that he takes my blue buff there and then runs to his blue buff and then gets his blue buff and lives. Like he has to decide between losing his blue buff and living. And unfortunately for him, he just stopped where he was and backed, which meant he picked neither and he just died. Now I'm going to be up a buff because this red buff is mine. Thank you. You want that XP camp? I would like to not let you have it. I got one. I'll take it. You tell me. I'll tell the um, it is hard for me to chase him. Mm. Kind of hard for me to chase, I guess. wave right now oh I don't know man hmm. okay, he's actually really tanky well he's really tanky compared to me because I have 2,000 gold in hand and I went Golden Blade Breastplate, so I only have 35 power. Realistically speaking, he's really not tanky. Although I will say my my next item should probably be some sort of damage. My guess... Okay. My guess is... An Exe. 
XC will do good. He still doesn't have second relic. I don't really want to show my hand on my second relic. What I want with my second relic is, like I said, obviously beads. But if he doesn't go, like, if he doesn't go beads himself, I could just horrific. Like, beads or sprint. I could just eat the stun. Oh my god, you did my blue again? I could just eat the stun and be totally fine. Alright, that was really good for me. That was really good for me. He has to attempt to get this red buff or this blue buff now. Uh, he's actually just going to give it up. I don't know why he keeps doing that. I don't know why. Like, if you don't have control, why would you go for my blue buff instead of just, like, trying to seize control of the situation? It's a bit weird to me. All right. I'm just going to take tower here. Okay, maybe I don't take tower. Okay, but you do not kill me, young one. Okay, that was a lot of trust in my turtle form right there. And a lot of trust in a big heal coming out of my ult. But, uh... Turns out I kind of know what I'm doing, so... Nice. Another kill. Those minions should take tower. I'm just going to back, and I'm going to go into a... You're going soul eater? Yeah, I'm just going to go straight up toxic blade then. And I will go beads. I, I'm pretty sick and tired of his freaking ult just... Or not his ult, I'm sorry. His two just swapping me. Hold on. Oh, jeez. That was a big sneeze. <laughs> My goodness. My whole sinuses are cleaned. And my attack speed is very fast now. He cannot do my blue buff. Which I actually do want blue buff instead of speed. <clears throat> it gets cooldowns. Hello. Hello. Come back. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> Dude, I took six Phoenix shots for 1,600 damage there. Good kill, dude. I used my alt to uh, stop one of his stuns. And then used my beads for the other one. Damn, I actually cannot get Phoenix off that kill. A little bit upsetting, honestly. Okay, going for this red buff is greedy as dicks. But I'm going to do it anyways. Please. Going for this is even greedier than dicks. Alright, cool. Now that my dicks have been greedy, I'm chilling. I wonder if he's going bull demon here. I don't know. I don't hear him, but whatever. I just assume he did. Stone cutting sword gonna give me 50 power plus 14 protection. Or 14 protection shred and 10 extra protection. So pretty good item. A 24 protection swing. And a 50 power increase for me. I'm feeling pretty good. It's gonna be hard for him to uh 
Oh, we just caught his two. Wait, what the? Okay. Kind of wanted him to ult me there because I have Aegis up. Well, crap. <clears throat> um, all right. I don't think I win this fight, but I'm going to try it. Uh, you're not going to show up. Okay. Never mind. I win that fight. Let's go, dude. <clears throat> I fully expected him to show up and just start whomping me. But I do have beads. Well, I will have beads for the next fight. And I will have my ult. So I have two ways to stop his, his two. Assuming I use them effectively. Um... I want to try to push him back. I really don't care about anything else, like any XP or anything like that. Oh, okay. Oh. Hello. Nice. Nice. He's playing it pretty well, but I will say his main issue, like, <clears throat> he got, he got beat sick, which I don't think is bad. I think, you know, beat sick's obviously a really good item, but, um, he needs cooldown. Like he didn't go breastplate. He went contagion for some reason. Cause he thinks my healing is a really big issue, which it's not. Hold on. Can I win here? I can he got contagion and beat sick because he thinks my healing is a really big issue. But honestly, my healing only was an issue in one fight. And that's because he took a fight he probably shouldn't have taken. In reality, what should have happened is instead of contagion, he should have gone breastplate. And then he could have gone into the beat stick and, and built off of that. But um, yeah, he, he, he went really heavy into the anti-heal when I don't think my healing was that important. Like he got, he dedicated two items to anti heal. I dedicated one, and he has a soul eater. I don't have any healing other than my alt. So, and I guess technically I have life steal on my one, but things die so fast when I hit him with my one. It doesn't actually do anything. So I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that Erlang is, in my opinion, still S tier. He's still super, super, super good. I also think Sukuyomi is S tier. So if Erlang can do that to Sukuyomi, imagine what he could do to lower tiers like shit like Agni, you know, like you can really, really, really start to see why he's good. Um, <clears throat> and I hope more people play him because you should, you should give him a chance. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, boys, uh,